this problem is based on the law of conservation of momentum. <clears throat> Let us see what is the problem. By accident, a large plate is dropped and breaks into three pieces. The, the pieces fly apart parallel to the floor. As the plate falls, its momentum has only a vertical component and no component parallel to the floor. After the collision, the component of the total momentum parallel to the floor must remain zero since the net external force acting on the plate has no component parallel to the floor. Using the data shown in the drawing, find the masses of pieces one and two. <clears throat> okay. Here we have to find out the masses of the plate. A plate has been fallen from a height h and then breaks into three pieces. Okay. And then uh, one piece directly falls on the floor and two other two pieces in two different directions. Okay. So this is one uh, whose velocity is 3.07 meters per second downwards. Okay. And then its mass is given as 1.30 kilograms. Okay. And then we have to find out mass, this mass M1 and then this mass M2. And then angles are given to us. So this has uh, M2 makes 45 degrees with the horizontal and then M1 makes 25 degrees with the vertical. <clears throat> so this angle is 25 means this angle is also 25. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to find out the components using the law of conservation of momentum. Here, one thing you have to know and that's given in the problem itself that there is no horizontal force acting on the plate, obviously. The only force acting on the plate is the gravity, which is acting vertically downwards. So now we will write the components of the momentum along the x direction and y direction. Let us write the x direction, x component of the momentum. Now, what is the x component momentum for M3? Zero. x component momentum for M3? No x component momentum. So we are left with only M1 and M2. So for M1, this is directed in this direction. The direction is this one. Okay. So the x component will be in this direction. And then for this, the x component will be in this direction because the direction is like this. Okay. This is negative, negative direction. Left, left side is negative direction. Now sigma px is equal to 0. <clears throat> so write m1, p is equal to mv, you should remember. Okay. So m1, mm, what is the velocity here? 3 meters per second. So M1, uh, 3 into, here this is, this is opposite side now, sine 25, sine 25. The entire thing is minus, okay, plus, this one is plus. So M2, this is adjacent side, so cos 45, this is 1.79 meters per second. To cos 45. Plus 0 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, we will sort it out. Um, we will equate these two to find out the one. And then uh, y component also we will write. So, m2 into this one what is the value of this one 1.79 into mm, i will calculate this one cos 45 45 cos is uh, 0.7070 times 1.79 is equal to 1.2657 is equal to m1 into 3 into sine 25.
25 sin into 3 is 1.2678. That means almost same. M, M2 is equal to M1. Leaving the last two digits, it is M1 is equal to M2 is equal to M1. Exactly. So M2 is equal to M1. This value is 1.001. So this is M2 is equal to M1. Now we will write the Y component momentum. What is the Y component momentum? Here you have all the three. So M3 is downwards and then M1 is upwards and M2 is upwards. Now let us write the M1. M1. Um, this is 3 into upward direction. This is opposite direction. So sin M1 times 3 into sin 25 plus M2 into 1.79 times uh, this is opposite side again this is opposite side this is the you know this is this becomes cos cos 25 you know this is adjacent side this is cos 25 not sine 25 cos 25 it becomes cos 25 and this is sine 20 sine 45 Uh, minus this is downward so 1.30 into 3.07 is equal to 0 okay now Now let us write the, uh, so solve this one. As M1 is equal to M2, I will take M1. This value, what is this value? Uh, 3 point cost 25, 2.783. Plus, instead of M2, I will write M1. 1.79 into sine 45, 1.2657. This is minus 3.991 is equal to 0. So what is the value of this one? 3 point. Just a moment. 25 cos 3 is equal to 2.7189. And then Two six five seven two point seven one eight nine. Three point nine eight four six one one point this is 1.001. Therefore, M1 is equal to 1. Therefore, M1 is equal to M2 is equal to 
one kilogram. This is the answer. Okay. Hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.